For our autonomous, we created several instances so we don't clash with our lines partners. For example, selecting the delay time and parking location, which is printed on the driver hub. Our robot then uses a distance sensor to detect if a freight is pressing against it. If it is, then it becomes pink, and when it releases, it goes back to blue. We also use the camera to determine which level to place it on. If it sees the shipping element, it places it in the middle or the bottom. If it doesn't see it, it defaults to the top, which is a safety measure to score the most points. We also have a robot to deliver one more freight onto the hub if we can. We can also start on the storage side, which in, in which we deliver the duck and place the preload. In all of our autonomous, we have a drive inch function to ensure the robot moves consistently. It uses encoders to drive a given distance with equal power and IMU for correcting the angle to keep it going straight. The voltage sensor is used to give the motors the same amount of power regardless of the battery voltage. We can also have the robot park in the warehouse from the storage side if we know that we won't clash with our lines partners. Encoders are also use an arm for auto and teleop to get it to a certain position. When the D-pad button is pressed during teleop, it raises the arm to a specific level and holds it in place. There are four positions, partially up for level 1 and 2, fully up for level 3 forwards, backwards for level 3 facing the other side, and fully down. We also use a distance sensor and time control for our intake and teleop. One button can bring the down the intake, intake the freight, and stop when it sits perfectly in the container, in which the LEDs change from blue to pink. This allows the driver to not have to make guesses from a hard to see angle. We also have two separate buttons to set the height of the intake, one for the ducts and blocks, and one other for the balls. This is done for easy pickup of the freight and preventing damage of the intake. This gives us flexibility and be able to control every game element on the field. We also have flexibility in how we want our robot to outtake the freight. One option includes raising the intake for a quick release if you want to drop the freight backwards. If you want to drop it forwards, we press another button which spins the intake in reverse. We also have enhanced controls in our capture mechanism. One button brings the hook to be aligned with the handle, and the other raises the mechanism to be above the shipping hub. And then we have two buttons for raising and lowering the servo with per precise control. This helps the driver control the speed when they're releasing the element on top of the hub.